How's it going everybody? This is Ruby and this is episode 26 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Centrifuge Extractor. The Centrifuge Extractor is kind of a mid-game machine. It's a lot faster than the regular extractor. So the basic user interface for the Centrifuge Extractor is this top part right here is going to be the item you want to extract such as we're going to use rubber wood in these examples today. The bottom here is just for redstone or if you you know just wanted to hurry up and power it. Over here these three slots right here is the output. These four slots over here is for overclocker, energy storage, and transformer upgrades right here which we'll go over here in a minute. To build the centrifuge extractor you're going to need seven electrolyzed water cells, a regular extractor, and then a advanced machine block and that's for the centrifuge extractor. The transformer and overclocker upgrades are quite simple to make. The overclocker upgrade is three 10k coolant cells, two copper cables, and a regular electronic circuit. The transformer upgrade is going to be five glass, one regular electronic circuit, two double insulated gold cables, and an AMV transformer. Powering the centrifuge extractor is quite simple. It can only take up to 32 EU per tick. So for example, my AESU here is putting out 32 EU per tick. If we were to bump this up one, we can see that it's going to blow up. For some reason it's not, but if I put it back down, uh, it will blow up. And of course you'll only get a machine block back from that. Now if you want to get a little bit crazy, uh, let's see, I have my AESU putting out 2048 EU per tick and I have three transformer upgrades in here and let's go ahead and grab some rubber wood to demo with and as you can see there it processes pretty quickly now if you'll notice I'm currently not processing any items however my speed is staying up you can achieve this by applying a redstone signal so as we can see there the speed's starting to go down because if because with most of these advanced machines if it's not processing any items the RPM or the MS or the PSI it really depends on what exact what exact machine it is the pressure will go down however if you apply a redstone signal it will keep its uh, charge now there is a price for this it's not free it does cost you 3 EU per tick which is the same as if it was processing items or anything else. Picking up the centrifuge extractor is quite easy if you have an electric wrench just make sure it's in lossless mode and then you just come up to the centrifuge extractor right click and there you go. Automating the centrifuge extractor is quite simple we're gonna go ahead and throw some rubber wood up there and we're gonna get it to come on down. Now the top is gonna be your input and it processed so fast you didn't even see it. Yeah there we go. And then any of the sides are gonna be your output so as we can see there, the rubber is coming out and into the chest over here. That's going to conclude today's tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me a private message on YouTube or leave it in the comments below on this video. I read all my comments and all my messages, so I will get to your question. If this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it, a rating would be much appreciated. And subscribe as I always have new Feed the Beast videos coming out every other day, if not every day. Thank you. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. On the left is my latest LP episode on the Hypermind server. We just kind of get my storage system figured out. On the right is my Battlefield 3 commentary where we go over some channel stuff. Check those videos out guys. Later.